Okay, here we have white rice. And I'm going to a whole to give it that aroma, that flavor that only habanero has and of course you know you don't want it to burst because then if it's very hot it will be super spicy and in here we have my version of jollof meat jollof i think is from it is from nigeria so another habanero for aroma flavor we have so i had the steak I used the food processor to grind it myself. You know, when you grind your meat, you know what's in it. Okay, then here we have carrots, cabbage, mushroom, onions, herbs, uh, I use a salt, of course, pinch of sugar. I used, uh, there's another one, uh, yellow squash, zucchini, all that through the food processor one red pepper or well, it was two quarter of a red pepper a whole onion so the herb and then um, what do you call that um, paprika oregano thyme and you let it okay the plan was that I was gonna make this beef jollof which is this, and I was gonna pour out a whole jar of spaghetti sauce, then cook penne on the side and add the cooked penne to this. But my husband said he would prefer rice today. So that's why we have rice here, basmati mixed with jasmine and Basically, we're gonna serve this because you know this meat is complete. It has everything you can think of vegetable. You can make it your way with the vegetable you like. But jollof usually has cabbage and carrots. But anyway, that's my version of it. And oops, I hope I didn't break the habanero, but that's fine. All right, it's almost ready. And this is almost ready and we're almost good to go and here you have it white rice with jollof beef okay have a good evening